Hello everyone, welcome to the third video in the series of Azure ML Prompt Flow and in this video I will show you how can you chat against your text data which is placed on your local machine in the form of a text file. So this entire video is based on the Azure ML Prompt Flow and we will be using Fires Index. So if you don't know what is Fires, it is uh, short for Facebook AI Similarity Search. So let's quickly go ahead and see how we can do this and what all things we need for this. So the three things which we need as a prerequisite is first make sure that you have your Azure ML workspace ready. Then we need a compute instance because this is where our entire flow is going to execute. And then we need Azure, Azure OpenAI instance because in this particular video I will be using Azure OpenAI as my LLM. And if you are using something else then that is also perfectly alright as far as supports Azure ML prompt flow. So these are the things. So in my case I have already created these but if you are not sure how to create it then I would recommend you to go ahead and watch my previous video which is the very first video in this series. In this video I have explained you like what is compute, what is runtime, how to create instances and all those basic steps. So as those are very time consuming I don't want to go ahead and repeat the entire same thing again and again. So let's start from the point where we have our workspace already created. So this is the name of my workspace and I have already created an instance of compute which you can see it is running right now. So let's go to prompt flow and configure our settings. So the first thing we need is to configure the connections. So click on create, click on Azure Open AI and here we need to provide some name and all these settings. So let's go ahead and give it some name. So I will say txt azoai and this is the name of my provider. Here I'm selecting my subscription. And this is the instance which I just created before this video. So it is auto populating for me. Then we need to provide these settings. So let me quickly grab these ones. So I will click on manage keys. This is the key which we need to place it over here. So don't worry about it. I'm going to delete this instance immediately after recording my video. So it's okay to expose it here and here I have mentioned Azure as the API type and this is my API version. So you can change this uh, API version but you cannot change the type. So let's go ahead and save it. Cool. So connection is created. Next thing is let's set up the runtime. So for runtime I'll click on create. We need to provide some name again. So I would say txt compute and this is the one which I want to select. I need to re-authenticate myself and once it is authenticated we can click on create. Now all these options why I'm selecting this, why I'm not existing, you can just watch out my previous video and you will get all your answers there. Because the idea of this video is to just to showcase you how we can create such kind of flow. So it is restarting our compute instance. Okay, next comes the vector index. So this is the new thing which I'm introducing in this video. So here you need to click on create and provide some name of your index. So let's say and here you have two options. Either you can go with the local folder or the data set. So I would prefer to go with the local folder because I have my files stored in my local folder named sample data and make sure to read this. So what it is saying is currently it supports only these types of files but if your folder is having any other type apart from this then it will simply ignore it. So it's okay to have extra files it will simply skip it for you. So in my case I have just provided one text file which talks about homelessness and it contains the text from the Wikipedia. Next we need to configure the vector store. So here we have two options and in this video I will be selecting Fires Index. In my upcoming videos definitely we will talk about how we can use Azure AI search. Let's click on Fires and next. So if you're having multiple Azure OpenAI connection then it will list all of these, all of those for you but in my case there is only one. So it just uh, auto selected uh, the one which I have already created. 
Now you need to select the compute. So if you have not already created, you can use this particular window and just select it. But like I said, I have already created so that we can save some time. And this is the one which I have created, which is up and running as well. So let's select this one and click on create. Now this step is very time consuming. It may take up to two minutes because it's going to do three to four activities. It will take our data. It will uh, generate embedding out of it and then we'll push it into the index. So you can see on the left hand side, the st uh, status is running and here it is right now chunking. Then it will validate the deployment job and there are two, three more steps which you will see soon. So I think I can pause my video because it's going to take some time here. You can see that now we have all these steps done, like all the six steps are turned green. And if you want to know what happened inside or how these steps are executed, what you can do is you can just click on the job details and it will open a, a beautiful graph for you. So these are the various steps which are going under the hood. So you can click on this step or let's say this one. If you will double click, it will open up the properties window and inside this you will see all the things what is happening like is it's at the high level but at least you will get an idea so it took this much duration to compute this this is one of the pipeline step it was created by whom and then it will also tell you how many chunks it created so there was only one text file and i said it was like very small just for demonstration purpose i took that file so just one chunk was created out of it if you will go here and see you will get the information about this step as well like what all things it is doing, how many document, embedded documents were generated. So feel free to go ahead and explore this by click, double clicking on these individual ones. I will quickly go back and uh, show you one more thing. Okay, and here you have the index data, the data which is indexed. Here you have the test data. So let me go ahead and open this one. This is a very important thing. So this is the detail about index and just make a note of this panel so here we have a storage uri so storage uri is the place where our index data is saved so let me grab it we may need it for uh, different things so now i'm done with my index i'm done with my connections as well as the runtime so let's go ahead and create a, a new flow the flow which you are seeing here is the test flow which is created by the vector index but let's go ahead and create our own flow so here under the standard like i already spoke a little bit about these so i'm not going to reiterate what all these are but let's go ahead and select this one click on the view detail and here it will show you what this particular type of uh, template will do and what all tools are required in order to execute this so you will need one embedding tool then you need one for index lookup we need one for python and the one for llm so these are the tools which we need and prerequisite is you should have a azure open AI instance ready because that is what we are going to plug so click on clone and it will take you to your flow creation part and let's give it version one and click on clone it is going to take just few seconds okay so this is the same diagram which i have shown on my presentation as well so here you can see you have input oh, okay you have input then we have generate embedding lookup format text and answer the answer the question then finally we have the output so let's go through each of these so the input is nothing but the one which is provided by the user. So here we need to provide our question. So let's say, what is homelessness? So this is the question which is in the form of a string and it will go in this variable question. Then we have generate embedding. So generate embedding, uh, we need to provide the configuration like which connection do you want to use and all those. So when you will click on this particular node, so all these rectangle shape, you can see generate embedding, lookup, format context, and the answer the question. These are all other nodes. 
and we need to provide the individual con configuration in order to make this flow work. So click on generate embedding and here we need to provide the connection. So it is auto populating because we have already configured this in our connection step outside this flow. Then we need to provide the embedding model. So which model do you want to use? So we will be using text embedding adder. Then coming on to the lookup, which is for our index setting. So remember I asked you to just grab that URL. So this is the URL where our index is saved. So path, uh, this provide that as a path. Then vector is your generate and the output of this will be the input of the lookup and top K. So how many top results do you want? So default value is three. If you want, you can change it. Coming on to the next node, which is format context. So this mainly deals with the output. What kind of output are you looking for or how do you want your output to be? So this is uh, the default code which is provided. If you want your output to be in some different form, then also you can provide it over here. So I will stick with this and I will go ahead with uh, the same code so that you can see uh, how it is uh, outputting as a default format. Then, okay, so and the input here is already set, which is the lookups output because the above step is lookup. Okay, next moving on to the answer and question. So the very first thing we need is you need to provide the connection string for LLM, what kind of model you want to use. So here we want to chat to endpoint. Deployment would be GPT-3.5. Here you can provide all these parameters. Let's restrict it to uh, 280 as a max token. You can choose your format if you want. Otherwise you can leave it as it is as well. So it will take the default one. And that's all we have. So the prompt output, you will see it as a context output. Let's quickly run it and see if everything is all right. You can see that the circles, uh, the circle says that these steps are executing currently. And one thing I will again uh, repeat here. So the runtime, make sure that it is uh, set by default. It may not set if there are multiple uh, compute instances available. So in my case, it was only one. So that's the reason it automatically selected that one. So all the nodes executed successfully. Let's go ahead and have a look at the output. So this is the output. I can show you over here. So like we asked, what is homelessness? So it is saying that it is also known as a state of being unhoused or unsheltered. So this is the text which came directly from my uh, text file which I have provided as an input. Now the next thing here is you can see that we are also having the source. Source is this, the file name is this and the title of if you want to get the title of this particular text then it could be this and the URL from where this entire thing is picked is this one so this is how you can get the response based on your choice and if you want to see where R is actually stored so uh, you can go to let's go to Azure portal again and under the storage so this is a storage account which got created when you created your workspace and inside this you can see containers and this is the place where everything is stored so all your logs related to this workspace as well as your index data everything will be over here so let me go back to this let's go back to the flow that is the one which we created Okay, let me talk about one more thing here. So the output here, which I have showed you here, uh, is like the complete text coming out of my text file, which is you can say as a context. Now the actual output would be the output of this particular LLM execution. So here you can have a look at this prompt first. So what I'm saying is as a system, I'm saying you are a chatbot having a conversation with a human. 
given the following extracted parts of a long document and a question create a final answer with references sources and if you don't know the answer just say you don't know don't try to make up an answer always return sources part in your answer and try to provide the links and here we will be providing the context which i have just shown you a few seconds back and here we have a question and what we are saying is please indicate in the start of a response whether you are using the additional knowledge provided in the prompt so now if you look at the output it would be something based on or aligned with this prompt so let's have a look at this output so now the output you can see is completely and aligned with our prompt and here we are saying using the additional knowledge provided in the prompt homelessness or houselessness is a condition of lacking stable safe and functional housing and at the end you can see the sources are also there what are the sources so it's a text file and the url it is not containing the huge long text which you must have seen in the upper step and another thing you can see here is the number of tokens so how many tokens are utilized to for that context and for the given question including this response so these are the total number of tokens 683 which are used and to be specific for prompt 501 uh, were dedicated so that's all for this complete flow and if you want to let's say clone it you can click on this definitely let me before this save it let me save this before and then you can click on deploy so when you will deploy you will uh, you need to just uh, furnish all these details uh, so I can quickly do this. So I will AML workspace and will just say endpoint and this would be my deployment name and the virtual machine it is asking which one do you want to take so we can go with this one we need just one instance and these are the things if you want I will just disable it for the video purpose but uh, you can take a call on this like how much data you want to collect for your monitoring and click on review plus create so these are the things you can definitely review it and change it if you want and click on create so let's go to the end point and here you can see that the deployment is created uh, rest endpoints generated is rest endpoint as well as the swagger URI which is generated so you can use this and uh, just work it out all I have for today and in my next video I will show you how can we perform the same flow using vector search which is the inbuilt one and uh, let me quickly point you again So we'll see how we can make use of this Azure AI search index and query our data. So this time we took text file, but in next video, I will try to do the same thing using the PDF along with Azure AI search index. So stay tuned and let me know how is it going with you. Thanks for watching.